Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Hey guys, it's Inka. So, we've done these mixing everything together videos before. We've mixed every cookie mix together, every kind of cereal together. This time, a day has challenged me to do the same thing, but with cake mix. A lot of you have also been requesting this in the comments. And also, a lot of YouTubers I know have done this frame before. But today, I'm gonna take on this challenge and try to make it into the most beautiful cake as I possibly can. I don't really know what that means right now, but we're gonna figure it out as we go along. So, let's see what we're working with. Okay, first up we have Red Velvet, classic. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then we have Carrot Cake, healthier. And then we have Lemon Cake, which I personally really like. Another classic, the White Cake Mix. Chocolate fudge, this one sounds really good already. I've actually never had this before, but this is strawberry cake, super pink. Party rainbow chip, which I guess is the same as like confetti cake, a yellow cake. Okay, and then the last one is devil's food cake. Let me just rearrange this. All right, all nine flavors of cake mixes here. I'm thinking we could mix them all together and bake it into one cake, but that's kind of boring and I don't know if it's gonna taste good. So I'm thinking I might make a nine layer cake, or actually maybe a 10 layer cake, because then for that final layer, we can mix all of them together. So does that sound good? A 10 layer cake? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so 10 layer cake it is. Let's get to mixing. All right, so we have all the cake mixes lined up here. <gasps> Where's my whisk? Ah, yes. Just gonna toss everything in, so. Two third cups of vegetable oil, one cup of water. Beat vigorously by hand for two minutes. You know, even when you mix it with other flavors, the cinnamon taste here is still one that will break through no matter what, which is kind of nice. Lemon. It's like, oh, you get the yellow food coloring now. You see that? That's, oh no, that's not, that's a yolk. Rainbow chip, this is a fun one. You can already see like the little funfetti bits inside. So that's fun. Mmm, chocolate, smells like brownies. That's what we should do, brownies. Should we do brownies? I don't know, you guys tell me. <gasps> Look at how red this is. It looks like, um, blood. <sighs> Where, 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 where are we, where are we? Strawberry. I would have had this for my pink food challenge, but I'm pretty sure this is artificial pink. <sighs> okay, we have devil's food cake, yellow cake, white cake, chocolate fudge, carrot cake, lemon cake, birthday cake, strawberry cake, red velvet cake. So I was thinking I'm gonna use this bowl and take a little bit from each of these cake mixes to make the ultimate cake flavor. Could be ultimate good or ultimate bad. We'll find out. This is the white cake mix, which would help with the vanilla flavoring. The yellow cake mix, which changes it in color a little bit. Birthday cake mix, which is the fun confetti one. Lemon cake, which hopefully adds like a nice citrusy touch. Strawberry, another fruity flavor, adding some health, because we all need some carrots in our lives. Devil's food first. And then we're gonna add the chocolate fudge. Last scoop is our blood red, <laughs> red velvet cake. You know what time it is? It's time to combine. Oh boy. Ooh, should I just leave it marbled? No, I should mix it all together. Marbled would be cool, but we really want the flavors to kind of integrate together. The red is really coming through, wow. I'm so confused. It just smells like cake. We officially have our 10 cake mixes. Now it's time to put them into cake pans to get our 10 layers. Wait, 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 before you do that, I want to taste it. Let me taste it. I'm so excited about this. And hopefully I don't get salmonella. <laughs> Here we go. It tastes like an oatmeal cookie. I don't taste any chocolate though. Really? We'll see what happens after you bake it. Yeah, maybe it'll taste different. Yeah. Uh, pop this in the oven, come back, finish the rest of them. So the next time you see me, these will all be done. All right, bye.
All right, so cakes are all done. Here are all 10 of them. I probably shouldn't do that. I feel like I'm gonna drop them. They came out okay. Not burnt and kind of dome shaped. I think now though, because we're gonna try to like build them up into layers, I'm going to use this cake leveler to sort of level them off so then they're flat and they won't become the leaning tower of Pisa. I have not done this before. I've actually never used a cake leveler before, so this is going to be fun. We waited for all of them to cool before doing this, otherwise it would just be a crumbly mess. Here we go. Oh my god. I almost killed it. No. Okay, well, here it is. All right, so now that we have all the cakes leveled off, I actually ended up buying four different types of frosting, chocolate, vanilla, cream cheese, and this thing called fluffy white that I've never seen before, but it looks like it could be fun. I was thinking, why don't I mix all of these frostings up to make a giant batch of Franken frosting? Why are these so hard to pull off? Okay. Ooh, this smells so good. Can you guys tell that I just really like chocolate? I just like chocolate. Oh my god. Leaning tower. Whoa, did you see that? Oh yeah. That is super nice. I have the cake stand here. I have my cake board, my palette knife. I have not actually done frosting like this before in terms of layers and also just this whole, whole idea of crumb coating. So a lot of what I'm doing today, I actually learned from watching Cupcake Gemma, who basically gave me my 101 on this. So wish me luck. I am going to put a little bit of frosting on the cake board first to hold the first piece of cake, like so. Ooh, 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 it's sliding. Don't slide, please. Going to do a little bit of crumb coating on this first. Crumb coating really is to lock the crumbs in so they're not like all over the place. Now we're just gonna get a bigger spoonful and just spread that on. If I accidentally tear any of this, I have to make it from the beginning all over again. Once you place it, there's no moving it. The frosting is so much like glue. You're okay, you're okay. Okay, am I halfway there? I am halfway there. This is the fifth layer, so that's exciting. Oh my God, that almost fell apart. Lock them in. Wow. I feel like I'm getting lightheaded. Oh no, is it tilting again? Oh my God, no, don't fall. This is scary. We're so close, please let me finish this. Oh my God. Okay, so. We have a little situation here where it is slightly slanted. I don't really know how to fix that, but I am going to try to now frost up the sides, um, get that crumb coating in, lock it in, and then hopefully frost it properly. I know I said the most beautiful cake, but in order to be beautiful, there are things you must do first. I said I was making cake, but it's really just pottery. It's only very... <gasps> <laughs> okay, if it falls, it falls. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Ta da! That's pretty cool. Oh my god, I didn't fall over. I'm so happy. All right. You did it. What do you think? No, it looks good. This is like a, a, a I'm still <laughs> holding, holding on to the cake. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and we are the beholders right now. You don't think this is much, but you turn it around and it's like boom. So if you want, you can try a little bit of that first, and then maybe try all of it. And then the frosting is like four different types. Got it, got it. Cheers. Cheers. a lot going on. I'm tasting like Fruit Loops. I'm tasting chocolate with cinnamon. Oh, 
but it still has that oatmeal taste that I was talking about. Interesting. You have to like try to scoop up a little bit of everything. I'm gonna try to get each piece. Here we go. <laughs> this is a lot. I get hit with like one flavor and then I'm like, oh, it just doesn't stop. Like I just keep getting surprised and surprised. But the frosting, I feel like the chocolate comes out the most. It had the muscle. Oh, it's so sweet. The first flavor I got when I first put it in my mouth, it was lemon. But then it was like flavors, but like flashes of flavors here and there. It's a very sweet cake. Okay, Ade, what are you gonna make me do next? I don't know, but I'm gonna keep searching the internet. Guys, leave messages and suggestions in the comments. We need to figure out what challenge to stump Inca with. Until then, we're just gonna keep eating this 10 layer cake and- You're eating, satisfied. you can finish this cake. Yeah, can I have another piece? Yeah.